So a big reason why I want to start doing this vlog is that I feel like all my creativity goes to other people and other businesses projects and don't get me wrong I, I love it and I'm, I'm so incredibly appreciative over the clients that we have and that we get to work with but you know I think like I feel like for me you know I need a creative outlet that's for myself and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you What's up? I'm Jeff. Uh, I turned 25 years old this weekend. The last five years of my life, I've been hustling my ass off to build a sustainable entrepreneurial life. We're growing and we're just now starting to scale. I am pledging to make a weekly vlog once a week to launch every Monday for the next year. My entire year of being 25 years old is gonna be documented. So there's a lot of other vloggers out there that are doing some cool stuff and become successful and have told the world about it and how they've done it and become motivational and all that. This is not a motivational vlog whatsoever. We're documenting the life of myself and the people that I collaborate with through my company, Chadwick Creative. I am going to Brendan's, and then I am staying at a farm for two nights. We're getting ready for this video, and then I'm going to Myrtle actually Sunday like morning. Cool. And is um, our intern meeting you Saturday? Yeah, Mitch is gonna drive up Saturday morning, and I'm gonna like pay for all his gas and stuff like that. Okay, good. Good. So, good, good. yep, I've been in contact with him. He's good. He's gonna be our PA, so he's uh he seems really excited. Yay! So I'm stoked. I feel like he, that kid's got a lot of potential. I'm out of here. See ya. See ya. I will see ya next week sometime. Bye. All right. Have a good weekend. <laughs> so sweet. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. All right. So I finally got out of the office today. I planned on leaving at three o'clock. No, well, actually, I, I planned on leaving at noon, then three o'clock, and then it became five thirty. I'm heading to one of our clients, an automotive group in Salisbury, Maryland, to pick up the Osmo, which is uh, the cool little mini camera with the gimbal. Um, and then we're headed to Bethesda, Maryland to go stay on a farm for a couple days and uh, prepare for this commercial. We've arrived. <laughs> what up? What up? Man, how are you? Good to see you, dude. Basically, so this used to be Quentin's room at the okay. beginning of the fur. This farmhouse is like over 100 years old. But it's got the library sliding. Yeah. It's badass, dude. And so that thing has a lock on it. That goes up to the old attic. The best. This is what was waiting for Jeff yeah. at the other end. Of the <laughs> <laughs> that looks so damn good. I think that might be the biggest skillet I've ever seen too. Yeah, this is my mom's channel. Dude, I, don't know I want a skillet like. <laughs> Can I try that? This? I kind of have my curiosity. This? I'm not gonna drink it. Oh yeah, much. sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, my family's had the flu this week. <laughs> Can I just drink out of yours? Yeah. <laughs> I think I had it the other day. Oh, what, is, what is that? Sparkling Martin butter, Martin's, have Martin's, a sip. I don't care, I'm the least germophobic person in the world. This is what people get when they don't have like alcohol and champagne things. They pop. Yeah, this Ellis. is what I drink when I don't. It's like drink sweet, beer. sparkling apple cider. It's dank. Not bad. It's really it's, good. Yeah, right? It almost so, tastes like. like almost yeah, like I know, right? Like yeah. Right? It's my secret weapon. I put it in a wine glass and chug the whole thing. And yeah. then... Jeff, do you know anybody that's good at statistics? I do not. <laughs> he laughed. He's like, oh, girl, nah. I am the, I am the wrong guy to ask right, about that. Ask I mean, like, if you need like a logo or a website, like I got you, but like, I got you. Okay. I got 
got you, but statistics, I don't think your best bet's on me. Oh, really? really? The guy's 24 years old. I know, he's been to college with my friend. He got $10 billion. Yeah. Who? What? Snapchat. And uh, Who? What are you talking about? And all the investors what? in the company got $2 million a piece. What is this? Wow. All, all, the, all the employees. Oh, I believe it. Fine. Fuck hey. this story. What's going on? Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Oh, this is my uncle. This is my uncle. Yeah, How are you? I'm great. How, How are you doing? Good. <laughs> well, he's Jerry. Jeff, that's, that's my uncle Bob. You're surly, so it's not yeah, you so well. Hey, you're crushed. Why are you doing so well? <laughs> All right, what's your pass? You get around good people, two, you know? Two, four, four. Yes, you are. Every time you guys are doing something, I look like shit in my pajamas. Hey, don't look at me. Oh. The, they fell. Every time. Hey, Jeff, you're too new to this. Every you don't count. Like, there hasn't been enough precedents where you've just been, like, filming me awkwardly. Yeah. Like, Brendan, I have to hide from in Every life. Every time. She, like, pops out of the corner, like, hey, man, you want to do this video like, for me? Like, I got seen you Snapchat and I really got the whole at the same time. I was like, oh, man, you want to do this? Like, like, hey, put life. this on. We're going to take a picture of you wearing this. Sir. Seriously. <laughs> We are now making our way down to the greenhouse. Back there. Oh. Push in. We're not getting in. <laughs> Fine, give me a big smile. Listen, <laughs> listen, I was giving on so me. What's the sound set to mind and a sensibility? Second blessing that was given on so me Was a power to love and a chorus to see yeah. Third blessing that was given on so me Was a friends by my side and a loving family job And I said it before and I'll say it again Life moves pretty fast After a refreshing night at the farm, it was time to head to Bethesda and get all the equipment in line for tomorrow's shoot. This is Bravo Tan Wester 20. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Day one or two. Nemo does not want us to go. Yep, we are uh, we are on our way to our Bermudas, Maryland, right now. Day one of two. I might need to come in here and grab a floor spot one of these afternoons. <laughs> well, you know, I was actually going to say the sofa's in here, but it's not here yet. You gotta sleep on the floor. 
What exactly did he? What exactly did he say to you? I don't know. I, I like. I think I may have brought something up, and he's already. But just like sit him in front of it and just like ask him some questions, basically. Yeah. I mean, I think it's super important to bring like his whole side of it too, man. Because I mean, there's obviously a reason behind what he's doing. You know what I mean? Definitely. And like that's like the one of the coolest part. And like hearing everyone talk about it, and then just having him say like something really awesome and positive at the end, like. Yeah. And then just to like really wrap it up. Yeah, bring it home. Yep. So we wrap today, uh, actually right now. <laughs> yeah, basically we're doing a time lapse over here to our left. And uh, after that, that is a wrap. Getting all hung up. All hung up on imaginary problems. You gotta focus on what's real, man. <laughs> That is a wrap. We just finished the Sorrento of Arbutus commercial and we're feeling super, super good about it. It's actually my first time working with Brendan and Mitch on a, like a full scale like production like this. Um, can't be happier, just to be completely honest. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Like, what did you think? Like, I know this is your first time being on like any kind of set. Um, and I know this is your first time being on a set with all the audio and all that stuff, you've obviously had video production in your experience. So uh, let's start with you though, dude. Run, run me through it a little bit. What, what do you think? It was it was an amazing experience. It was you guys were very welcoming and it was easy to pick up, and I, I felt like we did a we did a really good job. And most of the time, it didn't even feel like work. We were just kind of hanging out, and making videos, and likewise, it was man, awesome. it, it, it like literally didn't feel like work at all. It was, it was like, oh, is it five o'clock already? Yeah, yeah. it's like what? It really already feels over. like we just got here. Yeah, almost a full day ago. Um, yeah, yesterday was smooth. I think we did great. More to come. Absolutely. Look for it. And I think we really like conveyed the emotion that we were going for. It's really cool to, to be in a town that we, I've, I've done one other production here. Um, nothing of this scale though here. And uh, it was really cool just to, you know, basically meet all these different families. I mean, we did 12 interviews in the last two days. Um, and it seems like there's an altogether message here that is Sorrento's is the family tradition. It's a very friendly, you know, family atmosphere. And it's the spot. It's the spot here. Like it is the spot in this town of Arbutus. Like everybody comes here. So, you know, I, I guess I can say on my end um, with Chatter Creative, I'm like humbled to be even able to work with this guy. I mean, the, the guy is the guy's great. He's a younger dude like all of us. And uh, I can't be more stoked to it go as well as it did and and for the client you know he uh, he deserves it as well and I'm really happy about that ditto same me and Brendan are headed to Myrtle Beach South Carolina uh, for the crab trap film premiere um, that I had the opportunity to be a part of uh, in May 2016 and then this guy's gonna be editing for like eh, two weeks three weeks <laughs> incredibly excited to let him take the reins on that because I have not let anybody else do that yet so I'm, I'm pretty excited though Rick thanks man Hi, Bob. So we are outside DC right now on 95. The road that we will t be taking most of the way down, yes? Yep, we are going to take 95 all the way down to Lumberton, North Carolina, and then we will head east there, to the beach. There's the sun not even beginning to set. We got a far earlier start than we thought we were going to get. Super, super excited about that, by the way, because we were not going to get there till like three or four, so. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's gonna make for a much better day for both of us tomorrow. Absolutely. Hopefully. Not gonna lose.